Hello everybody, welcome back to another Euro Truck Simulator 2 episode, hope you're doing well. In today's video, you join me back where we last left off in the last episode. And today we're going to be delivering some, what are we delivering actually, I have no idea. We are delivering some frozen hacky, hacky? I have no idea what that is. So do feel free to tell me down in the comments, because I have literally no idea what that is at all. I've never heard of it, and I've never tried it. And yeah, so yeah, I've never tried it. But anyway, it, today's truck is a Scania electric truck. Um, this came out a few weeks ago. Um, this is going to be my second time driving it. And in this episode, we're kind of going to be going, kind of be doing a review slash. Uh, and uh, we're gonna go over like my uh, thoughts and opinions of this truck. I did drive the Renault E Tech uh, as well at one point with my friend uh, Rogers, and we didn't really like that truck. We didn't really like that truck. We thought the braking was a bit meh, but um, it could have been what we what we were carrying at the time. But anyway, enough um, jibber jabbering, and let's uh, get this truck started and let's get on to with this delivery. And I just. I swear, if I'm going to do that in every single episode, I am going to go insane. I am literally going to go insane because I have done that in every single episode now, up to now. And we're doing three already. Alright, is it on? I don't know, I can't tell. I guess we're going to have to take a guess, I suppose. Oh, oh, it sounds like a UFO. <laughs> okay, uh, that's interesting. Um, let me take my full speed back off because I totally forgot to do that. There we go. That's that off. Right, let's see where we're actually going. I think we're uh, delivering to Denmark. So we're currently in Iceland. We um, uh, deliver to Sam Skip here in the left-hand side. I didn't put my map on it. So we're going. We're going to go up to. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. We're going to go up to the ferry. Tip the ferry all the way to where we're we going. Where are we going? This is a long trip to um to here so that's what so a little small video not long at all i kind of just wanted to uh give you guys a review of this truck in case you haven't drove it yet or seen it as a matter of fact all right turn to the left here oh that's the sign i'm gonna put some mirrors on so i can see what i'm doing actually i ain't gonna put mirrors on actually Oh my god, this thing, this thing sounds so weird. It's not, it's, it's um, it's nice to drive, not gonna lie. Nice and smooth. Alright, 50 miles an hour. Alright, hopefully we don't, um, crash into anything like we did last, like, uh, like last episode. Where we, um, nearly dove head first off to a barrier. Because that would not be good. Yeah, guys, if you have in fact drove this truck in your save, then let me know what you think of it. I think it's better than the uh, Renault. And I'm not just saying that because it's a beautiful Scania S series. I'm saying that is because the Renault e e Tech truck uh, felt like the braking was a bit stiff. With this, it's um, nice and smooth. Very accurate. It sticks to the road really well. Look. Sticks really well. It's got good handling. I'm gonna lie, it's got really good handling. So, yeah, so this is just a small video of this truck basically. Um, to give you guys my review and thoughts and opinion on it, and will I ever buy it if it ever comes available to. Um, I had to break a bit sharp then because we're coming downhill. If it ever comes available to us to actually buy it and use it in our fleet. I mean, me personally, I would get it, but I don't think it, this will be a truck that I would um, use on a day-to-day -day basis. And the uh, reason is that is because it just feels weird driving an electric. Uh, driving electric. I mean, I prefer my um, my das my das my DAFX Super Space that I have on my um, save game. I'm sure I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. It's a uh, it's a beautiful looking DAF. I mean, I like it. It gets me to A to B, and plus it gives me the money. brings brings the money in, so... So, yeah. I probably will eventually, like, um... Like, 
change my truck at some point or something. I don't know what to, but... Oh, this is a bit... Is this the icy bit? Yes, yes it is. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> this thing sounds like it's dying up here. <laughs> it sounds like it's struggling. <laughs> uh. To cow, who, who, who let the cat in? Jesus, am I right? <laughs> No offense to cats, I, I, I love cats, but bloody hell. I love cats, but I'm more of a, um, I'm more of a dog person. Mm -hmm. Nene went over that barrier, I don't feel like, I don't feel like going over there today. I don't feel like getting turned into a snowman. I, 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 I love coming over to Iceland in this game. Uh, we've only been over this twice, so we came... We came in, the last episode delivered uh, a load with a Mercedes-Benz Actros, I believe. I, I forgot what the load was, I think it was like Iron Pipes or something. And that was a really nice drive, I think we uh, delivered that from um, Scotland. That was a beautiful drive, not gonna lie. But yeah, I really hope you are enjoying these uh, little daily videos of ETS 2 and we're probably gonna add some other stuff uh, as in later, but... I'm kind of doing. I'm, I'm, I'm main, the main reason why I'm doing ETS is at the moment is because there ain't no there ain't no plans to do a live stream on it this week, so that's one of the reasons why. And plus, it's because I'm kind of focusing on an American truck simulator at the moment as well. So that's the reason why the that's the reason that's the whole reason why I be on these daily videos. And plus, it gives you guys more content as well. So. Plus, who doesn't like a bit of trucking? Who doesn't? Yeah, I do like. Yeah, but I do like. I do like this. I do like the scan yeah, but I don't know. I don't think I'll get. I don't think I'll ever get it for myself. I don't think this will be a vehicle for myself. I think this vehicle will be for AI purposes. You know, let them let them drive it. I mean, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest with you. I like the look. I like, I like the fact that it's a Scania. But I don't think it'd be a truck for me to buy. Oh, let me know down in the comments, guys. What do you think about this truck? Do you like it? If you drove it, then... If you drove it, you're in yourself in-game. What do you think of it? Do you think it'd be a truck if you... To, if Do you think it will be a truck that you would buy for your fleet? And I just decap it to my trailer again. I am going to change my buttons around, because that's annoying. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts is in the comments about this truck, because I'm not really a fan of it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I am not really a fan of it, but... Yeah, let me know your, your opinions anyway. Oh, I just... I keep... Detaching the bloody trailer. Yeah, quite, quite quick and in a short and easy job, I suppose. I was kind of wanting. I saw the truck in the uh, quick job menu. And I was like, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll have a. I'll uh, think of that. I'll um, I'll take that, and we can uh, check it out together. I mean, to be fair, I'll probably give this truck another chance because this was only a small job that the game gave us. I mean, I'm only getting paid like one thousand pound, like one thousand pound for this job, so I'm not really getting a ton of money anyway. So. I might drive it again for another video and actually uh, lock in a more longer distance and actually give you my proper um proper like proper review on it. I don't know, it's gonna take some but the short and simple I mean let me park the trailer and I'll give you the uh and I'll give you the reason why I'm not a fan of this truck. Let's back this on in. Hopefully we don't. Yeah, it's oh, we've got a turning. We've got a turning truck. We've got a turning trailer. Okay. I didn't realise the trailer had a steerable axle. 
Oops. Treating ourselves up a little bit. And back on in. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do not know about that at all. It wasn't too bad to drive, don't get me wrong. It was lovely to drive. It was lovely to handle and everything. But I don't think it'd be a truck for me. Um, but I'm going to probably give it another chance. Oh, we'll never do that. I'm going to do high value cargo. But I'm probably going to give it like another chance in another episode. And uh, take it on for a longer for a longer run. And um, see, uh, see if my mind changes about it. But yeah. It gets a 8, eight out of 10. Um, the braking's a bit horrendous. Yeah, you know, the braking's not the best on it. Same as the uh, Renault E truck tech. If I see it in the quick drop menu, then we'll uh, we'll definitely have a look at that as well. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. A little short one. A little short one. I saw that. Like I said, I saw that truck, and I was like, I have to make a video about this. I had to. Um, yeah, kind of a little small, a short and sweet one, I suppose, because it weren't really a long distance. But yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, then do leave a like. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel for some more daily videos, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.